This is a shopping list for those that are integrating with your order guide. In the top middle, there's a start date and an end date. And you want to tell the program when a truck arrives at your community, what date range of food do you want on that truck? So for example, I'm going to do a start date and my uh, truck comes on the 24th. So from the, I want food from the 25th. And then let's go through Saturday the 28th. So right now what the program is going to do is it's going to go look at your menu, your weekly menu. It's going to look at your always available menu and your forecast numbers. Now the list below is giving you all the ingredients you need for that date range. And so looking at the columns here, you have ingredients and these are appetized. There's baking supplies and uh, canned fruits and condiments and so on. Now you can sort these any way you want to. So if you uh, are doing inventory and you want to have your baking powders to show uh, in the order of number three, you can do that. And I could say I want this the order of number two and so on. And so you can change this however you choose to do it. Uh, you can even change the order within uh, the ingredients by dragging and dropping it and so on and, and changing that as well. Um, so on the ingredient, you'll notice when you hover over it, it's going to tell you how many recipes need that ingredient. So for baking powder here, I can click on this and it tells me that I have two uh, recipes, uh, one's on the 25th and the 28th that does need that baking powder and how much baking powder it needs. So you can always look there. The next column over there to the right is the UPC code. That's from your order guide. Then you'll see the quantity that you need. And this is the exact quantity that you need. Then you'll have the better ingredient. And this is how you're mapping your um, order guide to the ingredient on the left hand side. And then there's the packing information and to the right of that um, are the way that you can tell the program how many of those units you need. So if you um, don't have an inventory you need it, for instance maybe baking powder, I can just put number one and I'll put that in my, my shop, shopping cart. If you have it like baking soda, just leave it at zero. And so you're going to go through this list, um, putting a number of units that you need, and until you get all the way to the bottom. Now, some of you are going to see an um, uh, order button here that can order from your distributor or your GPO, um, but we'll give you a total. This is just our demo account. We don't have that detail here, but that's what you're doing when you put numbers in there. Another thing you want to just double check is if you see where it says no option, it just means it hasn't been matched yet. So, you know, we need some marshmallows here. I don't know if I have marshmallows in this demo one, but we'll go ahead and uh, type that in. It doesn't look like we have it, but you could type th things and say corn. And let's say this is corn and I could match it. And so this corn would match over here. Um, and then it would remember that and always stay that way. So you'll want to make sure those are mapped as you choose to. Um, back down at the bottom, if you want to add extra items, you can do that. Um, I added a category called cleaning. Um, I didn't have any cleaning supplies in my list, so I was just picking some random stuff. But you can add as many um, rows as you want. And these are just extra things that you just want to remember. Um, you don't have to order them. If you choose to order them, you just put the numbers here and so on, and it'll do that for you. And typically it's items that are not shown up above that you'll want to add extra items. And so that's your shopping list. You can uh, print this list out. You can download it to a spreadsheet. And um, that is your shopping list for those that are using order guides.